Come on, where is she? She can't be that far off. Boo. Ah, don't scare me like that. Sorry. Hey, what took you so long? I've been waiting out here for ages. Well, one of us forgot to pack things, so I had to pack for both of us. Oh, right. My bad. <laughs> Let's get a move on, I guess. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Agreed. <laughs> So, what's your plan? Well, there was this hideout me and my sister used to always go to, and she could possibly be there because I always went there when I couldn't find her, and she was always there. So I've got a good feeling about this. I see. We should pick up the pace before my mother realizes we're gone, because if she realized we escaped, she would be mad. Yeah, I would imagine how she would react, because she doesn't believe me about any of this. Yeah, anyways, let's continue. Yeah. I just wanted to thank you for being really nice and understanding of me. I know it's really hard to just let someone into your life that you don't know, but I just wanted to thank you. You've been really nice and I really appreciate it. You shouldn't thank me, really. Uh, oh, oh I, I'm, I'm sorry. Is it because I might have ruined everything at the start? I'm really sorry about that. Because when I heard you and your mum arguing, I didn't realise you heard that. Since you've trusted me so much, I guess I should trust you some more. Starting with why I don't trust people that much. You know you don't owe me anything. I really just want you to be okay. No, no, it's really okay. It all started when I first had a friend called Rowan. We were inseparable. We used to always hang out. I felt like I could trust him. But that all changed when one day I went down to the meadows, as we did every morning, to see each other, but he wasn't there. And I was so worried about him, and I didn't know what was going on, and it made me just feel really upset about the situation. But a few days passed, and I finally found out what actually happened. He got accepted into night school, and I didn't even know he wanted to be a knight. He didn't tell me anything. It was like I didn't know him, and he was keeping something from me for a reason. And since I knew him for years, and he meant everything to me, and I just completely lost connection with him, and I just hadn't seen him since. And that's when I decided I would just stick to myself, because that's what I know best. And that way I can't be hurt again. Oh, Corinne. I am so sorry this happened to you. You don't deserve any of it, and now that I'm here, I promise I'll never leave your side. I promise. You really mean it? Of course I do. I would never break my word. That really means a lot to me. Honestly. Anyways, that was enough drama to last me a while. We should continue going. We have a long journey ahead of us. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you, Leona.
Are you alright, Corinne? You look like you've seen a ghost. Uh, I, I'm fine. I, I just need to stop for a break. I'm gonna go to the lake to get some water. Yeah, water. And I'll be back in a second. Uh, yeah. Wait, let me come with you. I don't want you to be alone or anything. Trust me, Liana, you worry too much. I'll be fine. You stay there. I'll, I'll be okay. Just leave, leave me alone. Um, what do you think you're doing here? Uh, my job. Why does that concern you, miss? I talked to your boss. I thought we had an agreement going. Yeah, we do. I see you've brought her, so I may as well take her off your paws now. Don't mind me being nosy, but what's going on? Ah! Uh, nothing's happening. I thought we agreed that you were going to stay over there. I was going to come over here. I am so confused. Hi, I'm here to escort you. What now? Leave my friend alone. What do you think you're doing? I thought we discussed this in the deal. Corinne, run. Uh, okay. Now I'm dealing with you. You think you're so smart with your secret cover. Now, I am going to use my powers against you. Honestly, you've got this all wrong. I have no idea what is going on. 